I uh, want to show you how to make a tiny book or a little zine, just in case you want to make a really cool book to sketch in. It can sometimes be a fun alternative to your sketchbook page. So to make a little zine or a tiny book to sketch in, you only need one sheet of paper. And I'm going to show you how to fold it and cut it so that you can create a tiny book. Uh, you want to think about what type of paper you use because if you just use printer or copier paper, you're going to be limited um, with the types of materials that you can put in your book and use in your book. So I'm going to use a page from my mixed media sketchbook so that I can use watercolor markers or even watercolor paints, watercolor pencils in my book and I don't have to worry about my watercolor markers not working or my paints degrading the paper. So I'm going to use one sheet of mixed media paper. This is big. This is 14 by 17 and I'm going to start by folding it the long way over to the other long side. So I'm getting these two long sides of the paper to line up and then I'm creating a crease. If you have a bone folder, you can use the bone folder to make your crease. You can also use a pair of scissors to make your crease. Then I'm going to unfold it. I think this is pretty helpful. I think to fold it and then fold it again is great because you reinforce that crease. Now I'm going to unfold it and turn it and I'm going to fold the short sides together. So I'm folding it in half, short side to short side. I'm going to unfold that. And now the paper is divided into quarters. I'm going to take the short side and fold it right into that middle, just like this. flip the paper over, I'm rotating it, and then I'm gonna take the short side and fold it into the middle again. I'm not getting super technical and like measuring things. It's just not necessary. I'm making a fun little book. I'm gonna unfold it. I'm gonna actually flip the paper I'm just going to fold these in again really quick just to reinforce those folds, okay? And you can see I've got things that don't totally line up here. It's okay. Now I'm going to unfold it and I'm going to fold the whole sheet of paper in half on the short middle fold, all right? And fold it in half so it feels like a book. Watch this part. I'm going to cut along this fold only to this intersection. Cut right along here. Just to this intersection. It didn't go all the way through. Now when I unfold it, it'll look like this. I'm about to be a book, is what it's saying. Okay? I'm going to fold it in half the long way. And I have this sheet of paper that's got an opening here in the middle. So I'm going to encourage it to become a book. I'm going to push this page out and this page out. I'm going to push this piece of paper and encourage it to become the book that it wants to be. I lay it down. It's a little loopy, right? It's got these loops. I'm going to force them down. You're a book. You're becoming a book. You'll be a cover. 
to encourage it to become the book that it's meant to be. All of a sudden I have a cover and pages. If they feel like they're kind of jumping up, I can force them down again. And I'll have a second book on the other side. Let me show you what I mean. Once I sketch in the book, I'll have two books. Each long side will be a set of pages in the book. When I fold it in half, I'll have a cover that opens to a spread and then a back page. And then I'll have another scene on the other side. They're great fun for sketching because you're forced to maybe sketch over the folds so that you'll have sketches that turn a corner. Maybe you'll crop your sketches right off the edge. They're also really fun to make with or for kids and to sketch with them. You could make a book of all the groceries you need from the grocery store. You could make a book of birds, a book of fish, a book of your shoes, a little collection, your own tiny sketchbook to take on a trip and fill, or maybe just a sketchbook that you fill with images from your day. Um, they're a lot of fun and you can make them with any size paper. I hope that you'll make one. I hope if you do, you'll have a lot of fun with it. Um, thanks. Take care.